got Daniel Black on the line for Bulldog Blitz on Rivals and, of course, Rivals um, majors in the recruiting front. And Mississippi State in a situation, of course, where per capita, it's one of the best, uh, most talented high school football playing states in the country. Um, the double-edged sword is you've got talent right down the street and you're smack dab in the middle of the, the best football talent in the country across the board in the southeast. But you're vying against the Alabamas and LSUs of the world. Therefore, typically a 31st ranked recruiting class in a lot of conferences is a pretty good haul in the SEC. It might land you 13th or 14th in the in the conference, something in that range, probably much better than Vandy and Missouri. So we'll put them in the top 11 or 12, something in that range, Daniel. But uh, to to get us beyond the numbers, uh, your thoughts about the class? Um, well, there there have been some mixed feelings, uh, especially because there were some there were some flips on signing day that did not go state's way. Um, Malik Neighbors was one of Mississippi State's top wide receiver targets. And obviously when you have Mike Leach, you need good receivers, uh, but he flips to LSU on signing day. And then you have a defensive back in MJ Daniels who flips to Ole Miss. But I think it's a situation where if he had flipped anywhere else, it wouldn't have been nearly as big a deal. I think it's just because they, just because he flipped to that school, maybe an hour up the, up the road. I think that's the only reason why it was such a big deal. Um, but as a whole, what Mike Leach needed to get, especially on offense, he got, uh, he got a number of good wide receivers. He got a he got a good running back, and he got a couple of quarterbacks. One in particular um, that I know um, I would like love to hit on, and that's Sawyer Robertson. Uh, when you hear when you have an offensive coach, um, obviously, and he when he when he first comes in and he gets his quarterback, the phrase is you know he's the quarterback of the future. He is the future of the program. And while I think that is a cliche statement. When you look at Sawyer Robertson, you can't help but think this is the guy that Mike Leach wants. First of all, he's from Lubbock, so he's got that familiarity being uh, in Texas Tech territory. Um, but he's a four-star, one of the top quarter, uh, pro-style quarterbacks in the country. He's actually going to be signing to play both football and baseball, uh, although I definitely think football will be where his future holds. Um, but just looking at his stats for this year, um, just just get this. In Texas high school football, probably the best in the country, uh, this season, Sawyer Robertson has 4,244 4, passing yards, 54 passing touchdowns, and six interceptions. He's had six passing touchdowns in his last two games, or excuse me, 16 passing touchdowns in his last two games. It's not bad. Um, so this is the quarterback that Mike Leach signed for his for. He also signed a guy named Daniel Greek, who is a three-star quarterback, someone who is a who's got a lot of uh, potential himself. But Sawyer Robertson is definitely the guy who Mike Leach has been looking at. Um, he was offered by him at Washington State, and it was within maybe four or five months of Mike Leach being hired at Mississippi State. Sawyer Robertson committed, so he's been in the Mike Leach boat for a little while now. Um, and then you have guys like Theodore Knox and Antonio Harmon, who are both wide receivers, and Jacoby Moore. And then you have a running back in Simeon Price. Um, so um, offensively, Mike Leach definitely got what he needed, um, which is very, which brings a great deal of promise for the Mississippi State program. Three, four stars, uh, 16, three stars in a class that ranks number 31, according to rivals rankings nationally. We got Daniel Black on the line from Bulldog Blitz on the Rivals uh, Network. Uh, Daniel, we appreciate you stopping by. Enjoy the game, and we appreciate, uh, once again, the breakdown on the Bulldogs. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate you having me.